Welcome back, kindergarten. Um, okay, so today we are on our next letter, which is M is for mouse. Yeah. So hopefully you guys enjoyed watching one of my favorite stories to read, which is if you give a mouse a cookie. Um, so, and I believe I have a couple other mouse stories too um, that I just know you are going to love and enjoy. But first, it is time to make our mouse. And if you don't have one of these um, M is for mouse pages, that is just fine. You can do your own. Um, or if you don't want to make your mouse out of the letter M, if you want to make your mouse some other way, that's okay too. Um, I am just going to show you guys this way today so that um, you have at least one way to do it. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we are going to color the letter M a mouse color. So what is a good example of a mouse color? Gray, brown, black, did you guys say any of those colors? Or tan? Um, and then all you have to do is pick one of those mouse colors. And if you have crayons, markers, colored pencils, paint, um, whatever you have at home is just fine. And if you don't have a mouse color at home, don't worry about it. If you only have a purple crayon, then make a purple mouse. That is just fine with me. Um, I am just making mine mousy. But you do not have to use what you have um, and just do the best with what you've got, okay? All right. So, and very carefully and neatly, color the rest of this mouse. <laughs> was it mouse? Is that what your guess was that we were going to do this week? Some of my students had some pretty cool guesses of things that start with M that we might be doing today. They did not guess mouse. All right, so then the next supplies I have are I have a brown piece of paper, I have a pink piece of paper, and I have a yellow piece of paper. So we're going to start with a small pink piece of paper. And I'm going to draw a circle on that pink piece of paper. And then I'm going to take my scissors and, you guessed it, cut it out. Then we're going to get our glue. And hopefully my glue didn't dry out. Mine, I uh, got the cap left off it today. All right, so I'm gonna take my nose and I'm gonna put my nose right there at the bottom of the M. That is gonna be my mouse nose. So here's our finished picture, just in case you forgot what we're doing here. Okay, so next is gonna be those eyes, the eyes. Okay, so we're gonna take this yellow piece of paper. I'm gonna do two circles for the eyes. And some of my students wanted to do really big eyes so they look really cute. And then some people wanted to do little eyes so it looked like, you know, beady little mouse eyes. So whatever you want for your mouse is just fine with me. Remember, these are yours, so I want you to like them. All right, then I'm going to put, this is my little trick for gluing tiny things, is I put the paper on the glue stick like this and then I put it on my paper. That way I don't get glue everywhere, just where I want it. And then stick it down. All right, then I think it looks a little weird without like eyeballs. So I'm going to, why he's wiggling around on me. Probably should have done this before I glued it down, huh? Hmm. Oh well. So I'm gonna color some little dots on the inside of his eyes. There we go. Now he's got crazy eyes. Okay, so then the only piece of paper I have left is this brown one. If you notice on my example, I did gray ears because I did a gray mouse. Um, but I have a brown mouse, so I'm going to use brown paper. Um, and some of my students didn't want to do half circles like this. Um, they preferred to do round circles, so he looked more like, like Mickey Mouse. Um, so that's just fine with me. I think I will do that this time, too. I've always done it with half circles, but I kind of like how it looks with round circles. So mine are not perfectly the same size, but that's okay. Um, I'm just doing my best here. So do two ear shapes, whatever 
ear shape you want to do, whether you want them to be round or half circle, is completely fine with me, of course. I'm gonna cut this in a little big so he's more the same size. Oh, that's better, okay. So then I'm gonna glue my ears to the top of my letter M, so it looks like my mouse ears. And then what are we missing? What should our mouse have still? What do you think? What is he missing, guys? Did you say whiskers? Yeah, he needs some whiskers. So let's go ahead and take our brown paper and I'm gonna cut some skinny long strips of paper to be my mouse's, you guessed it, whiskers. And I don't know how many I'm gonna need, so I'm just gonna keep cutting until I run out of space. That'll work. I don't wanna get too close to my fingers. Okay, then I am just going to put some glue on this side of my nose, some glue on this side of my nose. Ooh, those are some long whiskers. That's okay. I'm gonna stick them on here. And I don't remember how many I cut, so hopefully I have enough for three on each side. So that's kind of my plan here. One, two, ooh, there we go, three. Cute, cute, cute. Look at that mouse. We did it. And if you want to color like the inside of your mouse ears, you can. If you wanna do some background for your mouse, you can. If you have internet at home and wanna print off a mouse coloring page, or if you have some Play-Doh at home and you wanna make some a mouse out of Play-Doh, um, have fun with all the mousey things. Or maybe you wanna make a cupcake or a muffin out of your Play-Doh so that you can be like the mouse in the story with its, oh, that's a, no. So if you give a mouse a cookie, I was thinking about if you give a moose a muffin. That's what was making me think of the muffins. Moose a muffin. That's a good one. Have you guys heard that one? Maybe I'll have to add that one too. <laughs> That's a fun story too. Okay, so I will see you back here next week for letter N. What do you think letter N is going to be? Hmm. I have to wait and see. Bye!